guys what's up so I decided I would do kind of um, a little bit about um, kind of me my family um, how Tom and I met um, and all of that so if you guys ever have questions um, I am wanting to do a Q&A probably in like a couple months um, but go ahead and drop those questions below so I can um, get answers for you guys so let's get started so Thomas and I we met um, on POF which um, for those of you who don't know it is a um, dating website so um, back in December December well okay let's, let's go back so I was previously married for almost two years, um, November of 2016, I decided to file for divorce. And um, I'm not gonna go into details for those of you who know, um, it wasn't a good situation. Um, it was one of the best decisions I could have made for myself. So with that being said, I didn't think I was going to find a guy like, I was just like, you know what? There's nobody out there for me. Um, all guys are just going to play me and just not actually care about me, I guess. And so um, I had told my parents and my whole family I didn't think I was going to date ever again. I was just going to focus on myself and just leave it at that. So one of my friends had told me about POF and I was like, you know, what's it going to hurt? So I created an account and that night I got over, I think it was like a thousand messages and I was like, okay, this is stupid. Like all these guys just want me for one thing. So I was like scrolling through like deleting, deleting, deleting messages and I was down to maybe like five, it was like five or 10 guys that I was like, okay, maybe I'll message one of these guys. And then I was just like on there one day, this was like a few days later, and I was like, I kinda like this guy's profile that like had come through. So I like went on there and was like, okay, like I'll wait for him to message me. Like a day goes by and nothing. And I was like, okay, I've gained impatient over here. So, um, I went ahead and liked his profile and he sent me a message and um, and yeah so we kind of were messaging a little bit back and forth and then um, I think it was about like a week and a half two weeks later I was like okay let's meet in person like if you're real like legit everything I've wanted in a guy you'll meet me at my work so at the time I was working at Buckle and I texted him, I was like, hey, I'm closing tonight, why don't you stop by and see me? So at first he's like, well, why don't we meet up for dinner afterwards? And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is a fake account or something, like this guy's not real. Um, and so I just like went on with my night and then he messaged me and he's like, okay, I'll come by. So I was like, I was like nervous, but excited to like meet him. So he ended up coming to my work and I remember I was like on the back of the store, like facing the store. So I wasn't even facing like out looking where people were coming in, but I was like cleaning up tables and he was like, I think he said something like, oh, hey, pretty girl. And I was like, what? Like this guy just came in here and said, hey, pretty girl. Um, so yeah, so we talked for about 30 minutes um, and then I told him he had to go because obviously I needed to help clean the store up. So um, he left and we talked some more. And then the next day he met me and we kind of just like walked around the mall and was like, okay, I'm like, I'm ready to, you know, go out and everything. And so um, we went ahead and we had our first date on January 9th of 2017. And it went amazing. Um, he was super, super sweet. Um, and so that is our anniversary and kind of how we met. Um, and then, yeah, and then a, I think it was like a week, a week or two later, like I knew he was the one for me. And um, we moved in together 
Um, and yeah, the rest is pretty much history. We have a six month old baby girl, Sophia, and she is a doll. She's super cute. She's sleeping right now, which is good because she's teething and just a little, a little cranky. Um, but she's six months old and she's starting to crawl. She does not want to sit still. She loves to talk like her mama. She's a little jabber box. Um, she she loves food she pretty much she eats everything there's not anything she doesn't like the only thing she does not the biggest fan of is carrots but other than that she eats everything um so yeah so that's just a little bit about um how we met um we are planning on getting married next year which will be um june not january june 9th of 2019 so from today it gives me just like a few days over a year to plan so i'm really excited about that um so yeah so i hope you guys um follow our journey um and yeah and just kind of follow us along i want to start doing um q a's product reviews um on products um i buy everything product wise i buy anything from drugstore makeup up to um the higher end makeup um just to kind of try try different stuff out and see what i like and what works for me and i thought i could share um my reviews with you guys so you kind of just know if i like the product if i didn't like the product um what the pros and cons were to it um and stuff and so yeah so um that is a little bit about me there is more um, to my story with my ex that I'll eventually get into, um, but it's going to need to be its own, its own separate video, because for those of you, um, that know me, know that it wasn't just a breakup, we actually lost a baby together, and so, um, that's going to be more of a more in-depth video that I would like to give to you guys, um, just, just because I feel like I don't want to this video to be focused on that. I kind of want this to be focused on um, like my future and who I'm with now, but I will eventually do a video kind of just about like how we lost her, what like what happened. Um, so that way you guys know, um, I haven't really actually ever really told everybody um, everything that kind of went on. And I don't even know if my whole family knows, like mo my family's know like, or I should say my family knows um, like, what happened but i haven't really shared my full story with anybody just because i was scared nobody would want to listen um when i lost her people just wanted to know how did she pass like that was it they didn't care about how me and my ex were doing so i want to save that for a completely own video for you guys um but that's just how thomas and i met um and so yeah and so it's it's super sweet. Um, we both have a lot in common. Um, we both like very similar things. Um, we have our opposites, don't get me wrong, but we like very similar things. Um, and what else was I going to talk to you guys about? Um, I think that is pretty much going to be probably it for this video. Um, I might do one Q&A before. Um, I do one that you guys have asked questions for just so you guys can kind of get to know me a little bit. Um, I do want to get my daughter, Sophia, into the videos, um, but like, like I said, she's teething and she's napping, so she's a happy little baby right now. Um, so yeah, so eventually I will start to bring her in um, into these videos and stuff, but I just kind of wanted to kind of get started. Um, I am using my iPhone to record today instead of my other phone that I did um, for my welcome to um, our family video. So this should be a little bit better quality um, to record on and then I am going to get an actual um, nicer camera to record on um, that will be better like quality and I've got to figure out these lights you guys because I don't know what I'm going to do but they're kind of, they're kind of funky like I don't know like I have to have my shades shut right now just because I feel like it gives like a weird glare so if you guys have tips on that um, on how to fix that let me know. Um, I'm thinking about moving our couch where um, we're at because usually it's in the middle of our living room and I put it up against this wall for this video with all the pictures of our little one. 
um, behind me. Um, what else? And yeah, maybe I might do like a house tour um, video as well. So if you want to see that, let me know. Um, and then I'm going to maybe try to also do a product review. I've done some product reviews um, that I've already tried. I just haven't put them into a video quite yet. Um, but I have tried quite a few products. Um, I have ordered the FabFitFun boxes. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's a box that you get um, every three months, I believe. I think it's one every three months. And... Um, you get like three, I think it's like $300, $300 worth of products for like 60, I think it's like $69 a month. And um, it's actually really awesome. I've received two, three, I think three boxes from them now. And everything I've gotten in the boxes, I love. Um, it's definitely worth um, paying for the box um, and stuff. And so I'll also do some of the product reviews, maybe on some of the stuff I've gotten from them um, personally, because I love everything I've gotten jewelry from them I've gotten little scrubby shower things um, I've gotten lotion makeup um, just a little bit of everything and I love it um, their products are amazing so um, or I should say the products they send are amazing so um, definitely check them out if you have not yet because it is definitely worth it but this is more just an intro video um, into my life into kind of how Thomas and I met, um, and stuff, and I will be doing, um, one with Sophia here, probably, maybe when she wakes up, I'll record one for, that has her in here as well, um, and stuff, and I'll be doing, um, maybe monthly updates with her too, as she grows and changes, so, um, yeah, I think that is going to be it for today, you guys, but if you do, um, want to ask me, bleh, ask me questions drop them down below um another thing i want to do with my youtube channel is i want to be real i don't want to be fake to you guys i want you guys to know what's going on in my life a little bit um i'm not going to share you guys like all my details of what i do but um like i'm maybe more open with you guys um i don't want to be fake and so i don't want to edit my videos a whole lot um and make them to where they seem perfect, I guess. I want you guys to see the real side of me. Because those of you who know, know half the time, sometimes I just can't even speak. I'm just like, I can't get words out of my mouth today, even though I want to. Um, but I don't want to edit those parts out because that's who I am. So I apologize if you guys don't like that. Um, but I want to just, I want to stay real and um, true to myself and who I am to you guys. Um, and so, yeah, so I hope you guys um, enjoy this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and, yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.